In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an object or layer float or wiggle in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's begin. I'm going to work just with the Premiere Pro logo. And one thing I'll do is on that layer, go to the effect controls panel, click on the motion section, make sure I have my selection tool active. And this is a quick way that you can use to just put your layer in place initially. So I can use this to rotate or transform and just place it where I want to be for a start. Now, where After Effects has the expression, we have to just do keyframes in Premiere. So there's a few things that we can keyframe. We can keyframe the position. We can even do the scale or rotation. Just a couple of these should be fine. So once you click those stopwatch icons, it'll create these diamonds. Those are the keyframes at our starting position. And then as we go forward a little bit, we can create slight adjustments to them. So you can either do that by highlighting the motion tab and moving stuff around like so, maybe even a couple degrees of rotation. And then you just wanna move forward a little bit more and maybe move a, a little bit in another direction. And with enough of this, you should be able to achieve somewhat of a random feel. And also, at least here, you, you do have control over how dynamic you want it to be or how much motion is involved. So you can go crazy or you can just keep it really subtle. And also another useful tip if you don't want to do it with the pointer is on any of the sliders, you can press the up and down arrow keys. And if you hold command and up and down, it'll even adjust by smaller increments of 0.1 or 1. You'll also notice this little blue line showing us the path of motion that's been achieved so far. And essentially, once you have enough keyframes, what you can do is just copy and paste the whole thing a couple times. So Command C, Command V, and now we don't have to repeat infinitely. We can just use the same dozen keyframes we made and make them loop sort of. So when I press play, we can see what this looks like. It's a little wonky right now. So maybe I want to adjust my initial set. So one way to do that is to, first of all, play it back a, a little bit more often before you choose to copy and paste. But you can also adjust the spacing of things. So I can just move some keyframes around so they're a little bit more evenly distributed. And another quick way to do something similar to that is highlight all of our keyframes and you can hold shift if you need to go back and forth a couple times and right click temporal interpolation and do something like continuous and this will give us a little bit more smooth motion already so already we have a little bit more smooth motion and basically this same technique could apply for a logo or a text layer or whatever you want uh, i would probably tweak this a little bit but the basic idea and method is the same. So yes, Premiere doesn't have an automatic expression. If you want that, check out my After Effects tutorial. But with this basic step, it doesn't take too long to achieve something similar to it. My name is Justin Odisho. If you want to check out a tutorial on how to make objects like this animate in or pop in and different stuff you can continue doing with layers like these, you can check out more of tutorials like that on my channel. Just search by keyword and subscribe to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.